All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. It's uh, somehow my camera is lagging, so I will switch it off this time. I hope you won't won't be mad at me. But all right, let's continue with tonight's webinar. It's seven p.m. here in Estonia. And then we're going to talk about some crazy new news, which are really, really good for us and for all the investors and supporters of the Skyward Community Project and the Skyward Technology. Uh, my name is Michael. I'm from Estonia, and I've been uh, a Sky and Skyward investor for for about three years now, a little bit longer. And this has been a great path for me to to take on and and uh, to be the supporter and broadcaster of this technology because this really is uh, is uh, a revolutionary um, time or revolutionary technology to be here at this moment with all of you together all right but let's see first of all we will take a look at some pictures that has been done i have shown this previously as well a few times but uh, but i decided still to to show you to to remind what has been achieved already in United Arab Emirates. And as we know, the Innovation Center is the second certification and demonstration center um, within Sky, Skyway technology, so, or for, for Skyway technology. And the first one is located in Belarus, near Marina Korka. I have been in both of these sites myself. And then I must say it's, it's really, really great to see how this uh, how everything has developed within so few years and as we know back in 2015 uh, remarks the uh, date or the time when the first um, well well actually the the land was uh, allo allocated to to Unitsky and to Dr. Unitsky and Skyway um, for the first time in Belarus so that is the time when when everything started uh, materializing so we can say because the idea is not uh, that new, about 40 years ago, Anatoly Onitsky already thought about the idea of going to the second level and about the technologies which, which could help uh, people to to get there. And as we as we know today, we are here where where this thing has uh, this idea has materialized, and then we have really these technologies to uh, ride with. But all right, let's see more another angle from another angle, the same picture. And then uh, this is the the, or the the previous two pictures. Uh, that that one was the first track that was constructed in uh, Sarcha in United Arab Emirates, and it's four four hundred meters long. But uh, this is the first ever wooden house, um, so absolutely first and the only wooden house that has been officially constructed in United Arab Emirates. So this one also shows how great relationships we have with uh, with. Uh, with the local government there. And the idea of this house is to fully maintain it uh, itself. So basically make water, make, uh, make the atmosphere in the room, the temperature, uh, electricity, food, all these things. So it is this, that's why it's called Echo House. All right, and this is the Tropical Unicar. Uh, driving on the 400 meter track structure mm, and this is um, very special because this is also mm, luxurious it has four seats and then it's um, well it's it has everything that is needed for a luxurious drive from one point to another and here uh, well some months ago the tests with mm, people also started mm, and to well to monitor the comfort, comfortness and uh, and then the, the usage of, of the cabins and so on um, to, to get the uh, psychological aspects uh, in the game, so to say, as well. And this, uh, this woman here on this picture is one of the journalists who also visited the park and made a great story of it. Well, and here is also one revolutionary um, well, achievement of Skyway, and this is the sea container transport the unicorns, and this is on the monorail, as you can see here. Well, and 
and uh, the second track should be ready as well quite soon by the time when Expo 2020 starts and uh, and on the second track there will be the heavier sea container the 40 foot long and then weighing tens of thousands of kilograms and this is the smaller one but I will come back to do the sea containers and the track structures soon all right and here it is the latest and one of the greatest news i have to cover today and this is uh, that the skyway technology has been certified in the united arab emirates and this is the, the time or the um, event we were all waiting for and basically this is for the track structure the ports uh, and then the station stations it, so it it covers all that so basically we should be able to construct now the the track structure you can see behind Anatoly and Miske and the, the other two men right now. So let's see and and wait what will happen now since we have the certification and then which projects will be the first one to to implement in the United Arab Emirates and in tropical climates as well. Because uh, as I mentioned before, we have two sites, one in Belarus and Belarus is mainly for Russian uh, well. The, also, there have been there are multiple uh, models already certified, but those are by Russian and Belarus standards. Uh, and now here in United Arab Emirates, we have certification for tropical climates. So India, Indonesia, Vietnam, Thailand, and so on, all all it can be combined into this uh, certification. The usage 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 in in those countries. And as well, we need, uh, well, the, as we know, the European Union certifi certification process also has been started uh, in the end of uh, last year, actually. It already started, so let's see and wait what will, when and uh, what will happen here in Europe as well. But all right, this is one, just one animation picture, how cool it looks. But... Uh, all right, let's start uh, now. Well, let's continue with the main presentation. I will discuss briefly about history, what models or what technologies we already have in use, well, the humankind has, and then uh, why Skyway is here to stay. There are seven reasons for that one as well. But first, we will start with this slide. This, uh, this was made by a visionary almost 100 years ago. And then, uh, well, and what I would always like to say or describe with this picture is that uh, if you think about present um, nowadays, then we might uh, understand and, and recognize that we have the perfectly constructed uh, and developed first level infrastructure. We, we are not riding horses anymore or, uh, or um, uh, driving with very slow and engine burning fuel um, uh, cars like uh, about 100 years ago people were doing or a little bit less soon and then the, well we have we have these tramways we have buses um, in developed countries already driving by by green gas or by elect electricity or at least going toward that and then we have uh, cars many different manufacturing always getting better and going also el electrical then we have these uh, scooters, we have bikes, self-driving bikes even, and, and uh, electrical scooters. And then what else we have? Well, trains, of course, trams, as I mentioned. And then we have the underground system uh, constructed as well. At least most of the bigger cities, they have they have this uh, subways. So, but, 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 but even though we have all these great uh, underground systems and the first level infrastructures, we still Mm, we still uh, are uh, well the concern concerns are rising about um, possible difficulties in the future and actually these difficulties are in the present days as well the traffic jams and and uh, and the co2 levels that are that are constantly high and by electricity well by, by the electrical cars and vehicles they try to to take it to to low as possible but still, we have all different kinds of problems and social problems with transportation systems, these accidents and so on. And we, we, we just cannot tear down the houses in, or the buildings in, inside the cities because, um, well, because we need new roads. We just cannot do that. But, but the problems and the population, uh, 
the number of population is constantly growing and so on. So, so the only possible way and solution is to go to the second level. And that's why Skyway is here as well. But the humans have tried it before and then have successfully done it as well. As you can see on these slides, on the right side, for example, this monorail, but very massive again, all these constructions, it's quite slow and it makes, makes a lot of noise. Here is another picture of it. And for example, in United Arab Emirates in Dubai, they constructed about five kilometers of this track, this monorail track, and it cost about 70 million US dollars for kilometer per kilometer. And that was uh, more than 10 years ago. So, so just, just so you can remind uh, or remember this, uh, this number. I will later touch it again. This one is in uh, Germany, in Berlin. Again, this uh, supports what you can see by the river coast is, uh, well, they are very nearly located to one another, one another. So, yeah, to do hold the construction above. Then in China, we have this, this is basically like a tram, but upside down by technology, it doesn't uh, difference from, from tram a lot. And then we have this, uh, most of the people know this technology by the name of cableway or the ports as well. And then it's most largely used in uh, ski resorts and as well in uh, bigger cities again or, or resort cities or so on. Well, I've seen myself this in Thailand, sorry, in Vietnam on Fukuoka Island, for example, then in Romania, Constanza, I have seen this in Turkey, I have seen this. Mm, and then, uh, yeah, but I know there, that in Russia there is in the United States and basically everywhere in the world there are, there are some some sort of these technologies. But what is the idea is that the port or the um, uh, model inside where inside which the people are or or, in, or the cargo is, then this model is basically um, connected or, or it's, it's holding very stiffly to the cable itself so the model doesn't move on the cable but the cable moves and the engine for it uh, is located in the in one end of the of the way so there is a big engine like you can see on this picture the orange orange one and this one turns and therefore the cables uh, move as well so they hold stiffly to the to the cable so that's the technological part here and then of course the metros what which i mentioned to you earlier as well but Mil, I welcome you today to the new age where everything is going, uh, by the way, to, toward electricity, toward CO2, toward min minimizing the CO2 levels and so on. And, and, um, and Skyway is a perfect technology because it uses 100% of, uh, of electricity. And as you can see on this picture, it suits very well to the, to the surrounding, both in nature and inside the cities. And the electricity itself can also be be produced by the technology itself. So, for 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 example, we can we could use solar panels or wind turbines, and then so on. I will show some pictures as well. But yeah, first point why Skyway is here to stay is that it is innovative. As you can see on this picture, it looks amazing. It's just brilliant, and it has its own. Well, actually, that's on the next slide. It has its own mm, mm, uh, motor wheels, so so the track structure stays uh, stays well on the spot. But uh, what moves are the ports, the unibuses, the unibikes. Uh, those uh, all these models have themselves the battery, the wheels to to keep to keep them running on the track structure. But this one is a unibus, mm, and then. The, what is one more benefit of Skyway is that we can use both sides. We can use the upper side and and the uh, and the lower. Uh, well, the side what you can see on this picture right now, downside so to say. And so we can simultaneously go in in uh, in one directions uh, at the same time with two models, or we can uh, simultaneously move when one goes to uh, one way and the other one goes to the other way back and forth at the same time. But if we compare it with trains or tramways, then on the on one rail pair, there can be only one uh, model at the same time. 
but with Skyward we have two times uh, higher efficiency. Then what is the um, patented, um, well, technological part here? Nothing is, uh, so to say, absolutely new. Everything we have already has been existed here in the world on this planet, but, uh, but uh, Dr. Antonitsky ha Dr. Anatoly Nitsky has, um, well, mm, has put in this, all this together in the way that no one has done before. So therefore, what we have, we have these pre-stressed strings, bunch of strings inside the rail structure, then it's filled with special filler. And we can even put the holes or the pipes mm, with different connection uh, wires, uh, for example, uh, internet or ethernet or, uh, mm, or, or uh, electricity or so and so on. We can take them through the track structure itself as well. So that is also one well advantage if we think about, for example, uh, African countries and the villages there. We could bring electricity to them as well. Then let's see what else we have. Yes, uh, this is, um, well, this is one uh, picture from ECOFest 2019 and I recommend everybody to watch the um, video from YouTube. If you put uh, or, or type my name into YouTube and find the channel, then there is this one minute short video and you can see the, the great moments of Skyway ECOFest uh, two, two years ago. Unfortunately, last year it happened um, uh, virtually, so it was online event. But uh, but uh, hopefully, well, I know already that it's possible to go and visit Skyway during the expo, and if uh, and and the greatest investors and promoters are even um, well are, are getting the chance to to come along with. The board members uh, in one group to to see Dr. Anatoly Nitsky, to hear him, to hear his speech, and and to see all this innovation center in United Arab Emirates, and then visit the Expo, of course. The second point is that it is ecological, and then as I mentioned already, the CO2 levels are taken to minimum because well, directly we do not uh, produce any CO2 levels because it's fully electrical. And of course the wind resistance as well, because the models are shaped perfectly to cut the wind and also there won't be any screen effect because, uh, well, if we compare it with cars, when cars drive on the road and the wind goes below the car and there is the asphalt or the road, uh, which makes the impact and uh, that's the, that causes the wind resistance. But with Skyway, we, we do not have this uh, screen effect because the wind can go perfectly, and we can flow perfectly underneath the, the models. Then all different kind of uh, problems uh, with the first level infrastructures also are not necessary after we have implemented uh, thousands of kilometers of uh, Skyway um, roads. And, uh, and, and then it can reduce a lot of these resources or these costs to maintain the first level problems. And what is more with first level, well, constructing new railways, for example, is that we need to dig at least um, about five to seven meters uh, beneath the, um, well, the um, uh, ground and fill it with special fillers so the rail structure could hold it on the, on the first level for trains. And of course, we need to clear the bath for, from forests or houses or whatever they're going to be. Then uh, they will build the special fences in both sides and there has to be a security area um, uh, which is also covered by asphalt usually uh, about uh, four meters on both sides. So this takes enormous space already from, from the ground and the fences uh, block the um, moving of animals. But with Skyway we can even uplift the road or the track structure about 100 meters above the ground and then we can take it over the forests and so on and then the animals or the humans can live perfectly and, and move perfectly underneath it so that wouldn't be any problem. Mm. Then, yes, and this is also a beautiful picture. I like to show how well it blends with the surroundings and, and uh, how high it can be and it just needs supports and the supports can be hundreds of meters from it, from another support. So, so that 
it's perfect technology, uh, especially in the mountain areas and uh, and difficult uh, well areas where it's difficult to construct uh, roads. Because as we know in India, for example, the uh, one governor there said that uh, with Skyway we can take the eight-hour drive to um, at minimum at as uh, one point five hours uh, drive. So so it's it's enormous time. Um, wind time and of course rivers lakes won't be a problem it can be constructed inside those as well and the seas mm. let's see yes and with seas it's also great to know that we can even construct these special plateaus on the well on the sea five kilometers from the coastline so the ship or the cargo can take their goods um, to the plateau and from there the skyway system can take it to the ground so we don't have to construct new uh, new uh, well new boards to to the coastline directly and of course the enormous amount of cars and the, and the population is growing and therefore the well the even the economical aspects uh, or then eco economical well it's it's more positive inside uh, among people so almost everybody can afford a car who is capable of driving car and and allowed by law uh, that person usually has a car these days as well so that causes new problems as i mentioned before and inside the cities for example we just cannot tear down uh, buildings to construct new wider roads so therefore new solutions has to be has to be thought of. And here is here it is, a new solution. Let's take it to the second level. Uh, we can maintain the first level infrastructure, it doesn't harm anybody, but on the second level we do not have any accidents. It's fully un uh, um, autonomous, so there is no driver inside the Skyway Unibus. And then uh, it's just brilliant technology. And it's safe as well. And now let's see how it's safe, because this question arouses uh, a lot um, among uh, politicians, among government, uh, and, and among um, investors and people as well. So, um, well, at first it has this derailment system and the motor wheel system, which basically if we, if we turn it upside down, then it won't go anywhere. So it, it stays very stiffly and, and strongly there. So it, it holds very, very strong, like a spider to the, to the um, rail structure. Then we have these 360 degrees cameras, both outside and inside. So, so if anything should come in, in the way, then it automatically stop, stops and then so on. So it, it, uh, it has this um, smart solutions integrated then if anything happens with a we will for example unibus on the track structure then we have the similar another uh, unibus and both of them have these elements in front and in the back side and then they attach with each other 100 percent so they so they can either pull or lift the, the another model to the station or to the maintenance and if that solution also doesn't work, then we have this uh, special strap system, which we can be well um, put in a, around the waist, and then uh, people can lift themselves down. And uh, quite recently, there was a video, so you can go and uh, search it up as well from your back office. Just uh, go under the news section, and you, you will find this uh, this video there, the demonstration of the emergency decent system in Skyways Transport. And this man, well, he, he showed how it all works. He took the system underneath the seat and he attached it to the, as you can see on this picture, this way, and then around his body and then lift himself down and perfectly well. So everything has thought of. And I believe, uh, honestly, I believe that it's much, much more safer than riding with a uh, train like this this way so yes all right let's see fourth point is that we have our own models we have products uh, 
and we are just not showing pictures on animations, but we really have all these uh, models already existing and developed. Many of them are certified, as you know, now by Russian Belarus and and also by Tropical Climate Standards. And then uh, this is not, of course, it. Then we have, well, here's one picture of the Tropical Unicorn. Very nice. And then we have these cargo containers, as you can see, the, the unicorn, which you, well, I showed you before, the picture of the smaller unicorn on the smaller uh, track structure. And then the, this, uh, what you can see on this picture is meant for, for larger track structure, which uh, will also be constructed in Innovation Center in United Arab Emirates, and it should be ready uh, approximately, well, when the expo starts or within some months now. So, and as you can see on this picture, uh, also the great benefit is that uh, the loading time is under one minute and then the driving speed is from 70 to 90 kilometers per hour. And if you compare it with today's uh, possibilities, for example, the trucks or the ships, then we know that this, the, the average speed is about 15 to 20 kilometers per hour. Well, all these stops that are necessary to do the mandatory stops and then the traffic jams and so on and then but and what else then well we can uh, sky with sky with technology we can take sea containers in uh, multiple ways at the same time riding both above and beneath the track structure as you can see on this picture And then the fifth point is that we have demand for Skyway everywhere. So we started from Republic of Belarus. We have made our way to United Arab Emirates. We know that work goes on in Europe, in many countries, as well in, in the States and, and in Canada and all these tropical climate countries, Africa as well. So the work goes on actively every day and it's just a matter of time when we will see this all uh, this manifestation come reality and we see this uh, vehicles skyway technology driving in most of the uh, continents and then when we will witness this with our own eyes we can proudly say that well I'm also investor in this technology and and, and everybody who rides with it uh, some percentages of the profit will will come to investors pocket as well as dividends this is why it's so great technology and, and great opportunity for all of us the sixth point is that we have a strong and professional team we have over 600 workers at the moment and then we have uh, several departments and we have our own construction uh, facilities so we we make all the vehicles by ourselves and then design bureaus and so on and uh, and also in belarus and in united arab emirates and seventh and the final uh, point is that it is financially beneficial and i left it out here uh, last because it's well mostly it's the it's the most important one because all the governments and uh, well the supporters of other technologies also want to see it is it really that beneficial we don't believe and so on but it is all the calculations have been done and they are constantly being renewed to compare with other uh, similar well if we can say similar but with other technologies and then most of these technologies are also back uh, from start well developing started uh, uh, a lot of time ago but the monorail as i mentioned before here it's uh, 60 uh, 36 million us dollars per one kilometer and speed is up to 80 kilometers per hour so therefore why i'd say it, it's quite slow and uh, and it's quite expensive and as i mentioned before in dubai when i did my research one kilometer cost more than 70 million us dollars so so this average price here is uh, is well this is the average price here yeah. so there can be uh, examples for for much higher prices as well then of course the maglev we know which is also very very fast but uh, needs flat ground as well as monorail needs uh, quite fat ground and the hyper hyperloop needs flat crowns so but but with skyway we have no limits we can basically put it in the mountains we can put it in the sea uh, over the forests inside the cities um, between the cities and so on so there is no no limitations like that all right, and now the news section. 
uh, well, this is also quite uh, well. Few few uh, months ago, already it was announced, but uh, nevertheless, I still like to um, well refresh our memories of this. And the address project was announced in United Arab Media, and this is uh, the uh, well the address project should connect the same the Sarcha not the innovation but Sarcha city with a city called Korfakan and it should be about 100 and a little bit more kilometers long and for freight so for cargo transportation the sea containers mainly and then uh, but let's continue with great news so we will take part in uh, in expo in Dubai which will start in October so I recommend everybody to go there who has it who has the capability to go there but by the looks the well this is the um, uh, well, the, how the maquettes will be presented in how the Skyway um, system or, or the, how, how it will be presented inside the, inside the hall where the, where the expo takes place. So this is the um, smaller size, um, smaller size, not the real, reality size, but um, ten times one one to ten. I believe it was. I cannot recall at the moment. Uh, Except number, but uh, it's but but all the vehicles are are uh, moving on this uh, on this maquette. But all right. Uh, then we have many many international media reports on Skyway achievements lately, and I will briefly tell you all about. Well, just just tell you where where we were presented for. First of all, we were presented in Arab United Arab Emirates, uh, and then in French, India, CNN, Romania, U United States, Australia as well. Then we were also um, uh, covered by Out of Future publications, and uh, in Vietnamese lately um, came out uh, one well great story about Skyway, which told about design, efficiency and targeted projects, uh, which I all recommend you to read from your back office. And of course, uh, well, which was a surprise for me, but which is really nice is that Korean media as well has wrote about uh, UNITSC and about the Skyway technology. So we can say we have uh, we have conquered all the all the all the world at least in most of the bigger bigger uh, news channels we have been inside and and uh, and um, journals as well but yeah the mock up is um, this is how it will look and then it's it's much uh, well as you can see on this picture how 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 the size will be and all these models will move here on this uh, mock up and this should be also great and and the people or the governments or, or the companies who are interested in this technology, they can go and visit Innovation Center themselves and, and to see it in real life as well. So, uh, some final news. <clears throat> also, the financial audit is out for, for year 2020, so everybody can see incomes, outcomes, outcomes uh, sorry, inflows, outflows of the money and, and so on. And then, then yes, so it's it's really uh, reliable, and and, uh, and and it's possible to to do the research your own. So nothing is nothing is in secret. But, all right, let's see what else we have. Then the global expo marathon, which was uh, extended by some time, so again we have possibility today to to invest and to gather more investors and uh, if they invest as well then it will give us a chance to win a trip to united arab emirates among with uh, with um, board members and we can go and visit the uh, innovation center the expo it, it will all be well it will be all this packet which we will win then there is a nice hotel chosen for us and so on and there are different categories in which we can compete and and, uh, and take part of so uh, again please visit uh, often the um, back office yours go log in and and 
check the news, watch what uh, what marathons or what competitions there are at the moment or promotions and then take part of it. I, I really recommend you do it because then we will all see together each other and we can go and, and uh, visit and uh, witness all this with our own eyes and experience it and it will be uh, it will be really great. I promise you. But all right, at the, the last slide, I always like to show this picture. This is the Lai Lama who is giving blessing to Anatoly Nitsky and said that this path which you have taken, it's not going to be easy, but eventually you will uh, be successful. So, so continue and the world needs this technology. These were the Lai Lama words. So very nice spiritual support we have also enormous. And for today, for, for tonight, we are, uh, well, we are finishing our presentation and next time we will meet is, uh, is 22nd of September, the same time. And then I will tell you again about the technology, about the latest news. So be sure to be there and then invite people. And of course, you can uh, look it up afterwards as well. Uh, through YouTube channel uh, where where this uh, presentation is being uploaded as well. So take care of yourself, be healthy, be strong, uh, make smart uh, choices and moves and, and see you already in two weeks. All right, everybody.